Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. Let's learn a new topic called coplanarity of two lines. So if I have two lines, R1 is equal to A1 plus lambda B1 and R2 is equal to A2 plus mu V2. These two lines are coplanar if A1 minus A2 dot b1 cross b2 is equal to 0. I can show you how. So let's suppose I have this x, y, z. Right. So now I have one line. This is, this point is a1 let's suppose. And this is my line r. Right. a1 plus lambda b1. So this, this line is lambda b1. And then I have another uh, line. This guy let's suppose. And this guy is a2, right? So this guy is lambda b2, this guy is lambda b1 vector, and this guy is my r2 line. So what I am doing is I am doing a cross since these two lines, if assume are in co same plane, then my lambda b1 and lambda b2 vector are also in the same plane. I am finding a cross product of this, so that will be a perpendicular something just perpendicular to these two, right? And the line which is perpendicular to these two. If you make a dot product of this with this guy, a2 minus a1, because this guy is also in the plane. If you see here, my a2 minus a1 is again here a line vector. Lambda v1 is a line vector. Mu v2 is also a line vector. All these are in the same plane. Now, if you see, my a2 minus a1 is this. Lambda v1, lambda v2 are in the same plane. If lambda v1 and uh, is in the same plane, b1 will, will also be in the same plane and b2 will also be in the same plane. So a2 minus a1, b1 and b2 are in the same plane. So what I am doing is I am finding a cross product of this. So I am getting something which is perpendicular to this plane, right? And on that I am doing a dot product of this that has to be 0 because this guy, see if you see, three lines in the same plane, right? Let's suppose this is a2 minus a1, this is b1, this is b2. You do a cross product of this, you get find something that is coming out of this plane. And then now if you see that this plane, this line and this line is coming out are all perpendicular. So if you have dot product of this and the cross product, dot product of this and this, that will be a zero. Same thing we are doing it. We are doing a this guy a2 minus a1 and that we are doing a dot product of this guy. And this guy is perpendicular to this guy. Correct? That's the explanation. Let's understand the same thing in the Cartesian form. So I have, let's suppose one vector R1 is equal to some P vector P1 plus lambda Q1 and another vector R2 is equal to P2 plus lambda Q2. So where I say P1 is some point X1 I plus Y1 J plus Z1 K and P2 is some point X2I plus Y2Z plus Z2K. And this Q1 is A1I plus B1J plus C1K. And Q2 is A2I plus B2J plus C2K. Correct? So these are the points I have. For this, I know that if it is coplanar, then my P1 minus P2 vector cross Q1 cross Q2, sorry, dot has to be equal to 0. What is P1 dot minus P2? That is X1 minus X2 I plus Y1 minus Y2 J plus Z1 minus Z2 K cap. Right, this thing dot of q1 cross q2, q1 cross q2 will be i j k a1 b1 c1, a1 b1 c1, a2 b2 c2, a2 b2 c2. So, this is nothing but if you see, this guy is nothing but x1 minus x2, y1 minus y2, z1 minus z2. And this will become a1 b1 c1, a1 b1 c1, a2 b2 c2. 
So if this guy is equal to zero, my lines are in the same plane. Correct? This is the best way to find the lines in the same plane. Very easy. Same thing I did in the Cartesian form. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.